Mm. All right, well, let's hear from Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola speaking to Talk Sports. Ian Danter. Pep, I love this game. It never fails to surprise you. I don't know how surprised you were by the way things turned out this afternoon. Well, I surprised me the most the fact that 65 minutes the way we played. Of course, at the end when we won, it's everything is it's better. But the way we played the 65 minutes, it just take a lesson. The only lesson I want to learn from today is finish the game 11 against 11. Yeah, this is what you have to improve. Well, I, I saw you talking to João as he came off. I mean, obviously, you won't tell me exactly what you said, but you didn't look happy with him. He, he doesn't want a penalty. He doesn't want to do it there. He's the winger, win his space, but score a goal. Mm. No, com no complaints about the red card then? Uh, if it's fault, it's a red card. Mm. And now we have discussed it's his fault. Yeah. We yeah. have to do it. But uh, if it's fault, it's a red card. But with an hour to play with a, a man disadvantage, you must have been thrilled with the way that you kept possession more than they did. And chances and everything yeah. against Fulham. How, how surprised were you at Fulham's approach in the second half? I thought they might have gone for it maybe, a little bit Maybe more. they wanted, but they couldn't, couldn't do it. Mm. You know, uh, the end, the quality you have... I will build that with Bernardo, with Manu, with Nathan, with uh, yeah. with all the exceptional players that we have to keep the ball, keep the ball, keep the ball, help us. Yeah, uh, a massive result for uh, Pep Guardiola there, winning the game in the end. Let's go to Dan, who's a Man City fan. All right, Dan? Good evening, Dan. Hi, good evening. How you doing? Yeah, all good, mate. All good. Go on, what do you want to say? Yeah, there's, just, yeah, there's uh, several points I just want to address, um, having listened to the last few calls. First of all, the thing, the thing that's not been mentioned, the... Uh, the state of the referee today at the City game was absolutely appalling. Of course, Fulham came today with all the tricks up the sleeve, time wasting and everything else, and they should have got a grip in the early stages of that. And then the referee continued to allow lots of fouls to go and didn't control the game. The, the second point um, really was just about the point about Fulham being cowardly. They were out without Mitrovic today. I thought they gave it a real good go, but as Pep has just said there, a second ago, we had some real quality at the back. Akanji, Ake, Stones, they brought Diaz on in the end and they just couldn't do anything. But you think actually, that was having was a spell. go second half on Fulham? No, I don't think it was having a go necessarily, but it was what they were equipped to do. And, they, you know, I thought actually in spells they played quite well. The passing, one-twos, I was sat behind the goal in the first tier. I can see it very clearly. They were playing as well as they possibly could, actually, I thought in spells. But then, listen, avoid that. Bringing on then to the point about Jack Grealish, you keep going on about this 100 million price tag and you don't only do it for Jack and City players. The 100 million is irrelevant. City bought him at a point where we thought we were going to lose Bernardo Silva. They wanted someone comparable to be able to get the ball in deep positions and run and carry that ball. Jack Grealish does that. Does so he? the price is irrelevant, and that's the price. Do you, do you want more from him, Dan? As a Man City, as a Man City no, fan, do you want to see more from him? I, I would like to see more. I'd like well, there to you go. That's the, that's the that's the question. That's that's the only I'm question I'm asking, Dan. As a player, right, that the quality that he possesses and how good he is as a football player, do you want to see more from him? I want to see more from him and all the other players. I don't think we've seen everything you, from Harlan this season. You, believe you, it or you're not. You're joking. No, honestly, listen. He's got 18 uh, goals. Grealish, Grealish has got a pass ratio of 91% accuracy, and that's running it forwards. He doesn't necessarily get the assist, but he never has at Villa. He didn't get assists or goals at Villa. City bought him to carry the ball, and he's done that with a 91% accuracy in the final <laughs> third, and he has created challenges it's for our team. He does his pass Dan, it and gives it Dan, to, to Dan, Gundogan. Dan, I think as well, up. Dan, 100 million was, what, was his release clause... What Villa yeah, exactly. valued him at, so you can't keep using that against him because. No, I'm not. I'm, not. I'm saying. No, I'm not saying you are. I'm saying everyone else. Yeah, exactly. The Villa, the Villa board came out, and I thought it was really a, a compelling video that the board did to say that's the value that they placed on Jack Grealish. City needed a ball carrying midfielder because they thought Bernardo was leaving at that time, and the market value for City. And bear in mind, City have got the, are the best um, business owners in the league and understand the market value. Yeah, Dan, we as well, as well, your, your point I agree with as well. Dan, is that sometimes you watch Man City and Jack will run with the ball 
up the field, give it to De Bruyne. Now, De Bruyne across, Haaland goal. He he gets the pre-assist, doesn't he, sometimes he, he, in games? He doesn't, he doesn't get noticed for that. No. But let me tell you, I'm the third Man City fan on here, and I think we're a very honest bunch, and we will tell you if we think things aren't going too well. Three consecutive calls have told you that Jack Grealish, from fans that go week in, week out, think he's a quality player. Do we want more? Yeah, I'd like to see him score I'm not saying more. he's not a quality like player, Dan. No team. one's saying he's not a quality player. Just want to see more from him. He got took off at half time no, in midweek. He's come off in the sixty third minute today. No, no, no. He didn't get. To, it, it wasn't. He wasn't dragged off because he was playing poor. He mixed it up. We've also got to bear in mind that he's probably going to the world. Don't Cup. take your best players off, though, no. do you? Your best players don't come oh, off. Come on, we won three one. What do you You're mean? nonsense. You've got an agenda. You've got an agenda. Keep bringing up this hundred million pound price tag. Three city fans have been on before me and said he's quality. Dan, Dan I reckon well, he's took he, he took Jamie's table in the nightclub or something. <laughs> I think there's something <laughs> deep in here, Dan. <laughs> Something's happened. <laughs> I, I love Jack Grealish. He's right? took your think table, hasn't he? Think he's a great lad. In table. All right? Great he's... lad. I've had nights out with him. Think he's a top <laughs> lad. I, I want to see him do more because I want him to do well. No, I'm not you digging him out saying you know what? He, I'm he, not he, having he, him. He, 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 I want him to do what? well. He will want to do more as well. Exactly. He, he, will, he will want to score more. You know, I, I might be bothered about this. He will want to get more goals and he'll be frustrated every game he doesn't score. I know him. He'll look at the, some of the efforts today that were blocked and over the bar. He'll look at them and think, oh, could I have scored that? He'll want to definitely score more because that's the sort of player he is. Hungry to achieve, hungry to do better. But I think these Man City fans watch him week in, week out and see what he brings to the game. It's not always the guy who gets the assist or the guy who gets the goal that is sometimes the better player in the team. So mm. the Man City fans have spoken.